New from Studio Canal's cult classics range is Line 1. Released in 1988, this film is set in Berlin before the fall uh, of the wall and this is all about our character of Sunny, a woman who is going to travel and meet someone she's had a one night stand with, a, a rock star of sorts, but there's a little bit of confusion. She's been given a false address and it takes her a little while before she's going to realise what actually happened. And as she travels through the subway system and on various trains, she encounters all the denizens of Berlin, the various people. Hey, what Platz is so blöd, huh? Schoolgirls who are, are avoiding school, we get people who are um, arguing parents, we get sort of older people, we get people with different values, we have people who are just sticking to their jobs. We have all these reoccurring characters throughout the story as she makes her way through this subway system throughout the day. And it's full of these jaunty and fun pop numbers. They've got different kinds of music here from like rap to Europop to kind of funky numbers. All the song and dance numbers are incredibly fun. It's one of these movies that has that studio look about it. It doesn't look entirely realistic, but it fits the world that we're in. The world where people just suddenly drop everything and jump into choreographed dance numbers at a drop of a hat. Well, life is exploding in oceans of blood Should I pass in jeder Großstadt Bin ich zu Hause What I liked about this was uh, a lot of the songs were particularly catchy. The colours and the look of the film was great. I loved the use of the characters and particularly the actors. Many of the actors here play multiple parts and they appear in the movie several times and they're always really fun. It takes a little bit of a moment just to realise who they are and it's the story here that I'd say almost drags it down. Watching this character realise um, all about the people of her community or within her city as she travels through it, meeting all the different kind of archetypes as we drive towards a conclusion that is ultimately going to be a more of a realisation and it's not really driven by any main story. We're just kind of floating through this life, meeting the different people and looking at the struggles that they are facing in this world. <laughs> Not a bad thing, but just personally, not something I really uh, empathised with a lot. Although it is not just tied to Berlin, that these people are, you know, over the world. You can meet all these types of people. They are, like I said, archetypes. The type of people that you could bump into if you went on a train or down to any public area, you would see some sort of resemblance of these kind of characters. But like I said, the story's not the driving force here. It's the fun numbers. It's some of the funny characters that appear. It's some of the over-the-top acting that just makes it a little bit more niche than I thought it was going to be. A little bit more fun and engaging than I first thought. <laughs> And although it loses its steam a little bit near the end, I still had a lot of fun with Line 1. It was an interesting film with some really nice performances, some really catchy song and dance numbers that I really enjoyed, particularly the opening. It just steps you into this. It was based off a, a musical at the time, so it's lost and, and refined a lot of the numbers down to probably what are the best ones in the show, I would imagine having never seen it, and it just plays along so effortlessly well. Colourful, bright, but with a subject matter that's kind of poking around the darker aspects of society, which I kind of like when you have that duality within these things. Sabel und nimm dir eins, 
seeing Sunny as she has her eyes opened as she moves through this world, encounters people the first time, the second time, the third time, as her opinion changes, as she becomes more worldly wise by seeing all these people. It was such a fun trip to kind of go on and I had a lot of fun with Line 1. I think it is a, an interesting film. If you like musicals, definitely pick it up. Um, check out the trailers if you get a chance. It's just a, a, a nice, easy, breezy, fun movie um, to sit down and watch and just enjoy. I would love to know your opinion of Line 1 if you've seen it. Let me know in the comment box below your thoughts, whether you loved it, hated it, whether you're interested or not, I, I would love to know. Um, and while you're down here, if you hit this video with a like, it really helps. There's more content up here. If you want to see more of my stuff, and in the description box below are links to the Patreon membership program, manvfilm.com, always, in which you can support me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.